All right, we are visiting the SCAR 16S or the SCAR L. Um, this one's in 5.56 NATO. Uh, the SCAR H is the 308 or SCAR Heavy. This is the SCAR L or SCAR Light, the 16S. Um, in 2022, so this is, I guess you could call this the Gen 1, right? Because now they made uh, version 2 of it or Gen 2 with the non-reciprocating uh, charging handle. I have mine right here. You could switch it on either side. And I'm not going to get the Gen 2 uh, because they are not uh, backwards compatible or, or cross compatible or whatever. Can't just take this one and make it a non-reciprocating uh, charging handle. So I'm just gonna stick with this one. I'm not gonna get the Gen 2. Um, let's check, let's drop the mag, right? Yes, I keep ammo in my mags. Uh, check the barrel and the mag well. Make sure it's clear and it's all clear. And we could go ahead with the uh, compensator. As you can see, this is the VG6 Epsilon. Is this the Epsilon? Uh, I don't know. It's it's rubbed off. Uh, yeah, this is the Epsilon because uh, it has the flash hider. The gamma is just flat and only has this part. Uh, so this is the Epsilon in 5.56 on a 16 inch barrel. So this is a standard SCAR L, SCAR 16S, 16 inch 5.56 barrel. I don't know the twist rate. It says it's somewhere on the barrel underneath the handguard. But uh, let's get to the handguard. This is a uh, KDG or Kinetic Development Group MREX MK2 M Lock Handguard Handrail in black. Uh, this is the piece that attaches to the scar, and then it extends. Uh, you could you could get a shorter one, or I got the I think this is the the 14 inch or 13 inch rail. I don't. I forgot the exact length, but uh, it's M Lock KDG. KDG makes a lot of good scar uh, furniture and products. And then on the slots, M Lock slots, I have rail scales, uh, four slot, four of them in, I think this is the diamond pattern, FDE. And then I have the three slot in black the hex pattern both from rail scale and they the texturing it's not too aggressive uh it feels good drippy it's not rubbery um but it is polymer so that's that they got some rubber ones or something like that um it's, these are actually just for looks i mean to match the black and different FDE colors. So, uh, I took the iron sights off the flip up, flip down iron sights, the uh, stock scar flip ups. So, I don't need them or I don't even use them. That's why I decided to just completely take them off. And, uh, put this one to ten swamp fox optics uh arrowhead this is the uh arrowhead scope here's the throw lever and it comes with it comes with both of these the uh scope mount and the throw lever and these caps i leave them down but for transporting and stuff you know i'll close them up but uh, Swamp Fox Optics, I've started to like their products. They make good quality products. And then these 
scope rings, you could actually mount a red dot RMR or Swamp Fox Optics red dot sights on here. I did at one point, but then it felt weird shooting with it. Uh, so I took them off and then I just kept it like this. Um, it's not a quick detach. And you can see one of the screws broke because I torqued it too tight. But I'm not taking this scope off anytime soon. Here's some scratches and stuff because this gun's been running. Um, the charging handle is, I forgot who makes this, but I found it online somewhere. Um, the, it's an angled instead of the uh, straight charging handle and I got mine angled up instead of angled down I just like you know the curving up uh, and the thumb or the hand stop not the thumb rest this is a hand stop came with the uh, grip from Reptilia Corp but Clutch Kinetic did the stippling on the hand stop in the pistol grip right here. Um, this is in fish scale, both in fish scale matching. And it's the color is, I think, uh, coyote brown, right? It's a darker color than the rest of the FDE or brown ish colors on the rifle. So Going to the lower, this is just a stock mag release button, Ambi. Uh, I didn't feel the need to change that out. And also the Ambi safety and fire selector is uh, stock. Didn't need to change it out or switch it out. I like it. I mean, Parker Mountain Machine makes uh, scar furnitures, but I only got the bad lever from Parker Mountain Machine, which is right here. And that's all I needed. I don't need the extra stuff. Um, but maybe down the line, I'll get the uh, the dimpled safety select and a different uh, Ambi mag release button. But right now, I really use the uh, bad lever. I use the bad lever on every single AR that I own. And... Uh, I just like the function of it. Um, what else? Then I got, I went with the standard or the factory UGG boot, right? A lot of people don't like the look, but I don't care. This is what makes the scar a scar right here. The UGG boot. I have a KDG ACR stock. Um, was shooting with that for a while I just didn't like it it was uh, it wasn't lightweight it, it's bulkier and it's more durable than this uh, UGG boot right but I like the UGG boot because uh, the actual feel of it um, it felt better than the KDG buttstock ACR buttstock and then you you know the KDG one has the same functions as this one the uh, cheek riser the uh, folding ability uh, the six position right here extend um, but I kept it with the UGG boot uh, I got regular rubber Picatinny rail covers um just for the black and fde look but pretty much this is set up for long range shooting from 100 to a thousand but with the thousand yards uh using this one to ten at ten power uh the bdc bullet drop compensation really works if you know how to read it and uh um, when you zero in your rifle right at 10 power 
So all the way over here, all the way zoomed in. Um, you really can't see the target, uh, eight inch or 10 inch target at a thousand yards, but you can guesstimate and use the uh, BDC off of this, your holdover, and it's it works. Once you learn to shoot like that, um, that's what you rely on, right? With the your uh, BDC or your mill hash marks. Um, if you zero it correctly, according to the hash marks, that's why you have to study and research your optic, whichever optic you have, do some research and then shoot with it at different distances to see which, uh, which works for your rifle, right? Uh, 16 inch barrel 556 five, with a one to 10 works, works good. 100 yards, I'm 10 time, 10 powered, zoomed in, and, and half an inch groups. Um, I'll show some videos. 200 yards, I'll show some uh, videos with this uh, optic and this rifle. Um, this rifle got about over 10,000 because my Daniel Defense has about 15,000. And uh, yeah, I'm. I'm pretty set i don't think i'm gonna mod it anymore i don't need to don't care about shooting suppressed uh if i ever do sbr this then i would put a suppressor on it and then use the uh gas adjustable gas system right here to adjust the gas for shooting suppressed but 16 inch barrel I, I don't care about shooting suppressed and 556 five, I don't care uh, I have the suppressors on the uh, 30 cows um, and that's a little review of my scar 16 s scar L